I suppose the first time I thought about pictures and storytelling was when I was nine. And I grew up in Whakatane and Ohope, and uh, so there was lots of earthquakes and we would have power outages. We'd sit around as a family, around candles, and tell stories. My whole education really was from my parents sort of saying, look beyond yourself. You're not that important, you know. What's more important is those people that you may meet, their perspective on life, what they can tell us all. And, and so that sort of is the main uh, impetus of my work, I think. I really believe in storytelling. I believe in it. I believe that, um, that it's really important to capture these stories. People surprise the hell out of me. Life surprises the hell out of me. And I think some of my films, if you wrote them as a script, nobody would ever believe them. Because I think what happens in real people's lives is so much more extraordinary than anything you could ever write. I don't believe in life. If something's easy, then, it, then it's not good enough. But if you know something's to be difficult, I say go to it. Because then that's going to reveal something about yourself and develop layers to your own personality. And so for me, it has to be hard and it has to be challenging. Gosh, yeah, I'm intimidated all the time. You know, and, and it's all part of the complexity of the storytelling. But, but I think, you know, quite often we sort of frame some of these qualities as negatives, but they're positives to me. They're positives because it just sort of means that I think I can, you know, face that intimidation. You know what I mean? What else, what else am I to do? I'm no good at anything else, <laughs> so I might as well do this and carry on. You know, and I'm, I'm a slave to my curiosity. That's, that's what it's all about, really.